It's Bob and Tom This Week, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. What happened to us? We used to be, <laughs> we used to be rock and roll, man. We used to party. We used to talk about concerts. I'm, I'm being totally serious. Off the air, just before we started, we're talking about what kind of mask you wearing. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of mask you got? The N? What is that? The K N? It's, it's the M eighty. Where'd you get that? Oh, the internet, huh? Oh, is that is that uh, qualified for? <sighs> it's the Bob and Tom show. Josh is already teabagging over there. Uh, steeping, thank you very does much. It, does lifting the bags up really do anything, or does that just make you feel good? It I, makes it uh, a smoother, richer tea. Tell <laughs> me. Are, you, are you aerating the tea? <laughs> Why can't he get his tea do it going and work on his tries a little bit, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. make the tea bags really heavy. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that's the only exercise this arm gets. <laughs> no, that's not what I... No, no, that's... <laughs> you remember he broke his wrist and... Yeah, I he just go, wish. Put left hand away. Never went back. Hey, listen to me. Everybody listen. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Now get off my back. <laughs> now, you're supposed to say that for good luck at the beginning of every month. It's very sweet. It hasn't worked yet. But Today, of course. Uh, 34 years. Anyone? Anyone? Today, February 1st. Mm-hmm. Anyone? Anyone? Pearl Harbor Day. The four and a half year anniversary of Josh working here for the Bob and Tom Show. The celebration will continue. Thank you very oh, much. Wow. Another work anniversary? Is <laughs> that great. what we've got going? So are we doing a uh, clip show today then, or what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, let's see who's where. Let's see. Our engineer is Ace Cosby. I do Ace, when is your and uh, work? What do you call it? Work anniversary? Do you know? Depending on which time you start a start date, right? You've got like five or six start dates. <laughs> well, I mean, officially working on the air as our engineer. That's the because uh, Ace has been here for, forever, but off and on three and a half years. Okay, we'll have to. Well, we get the date okay. so we can get a cake. Okay, you you like cake, right? You know, I've been here uh, April first, nineteen eighty six. I walked through the building, uh, started working on the uh, 1986? 86, baby. Before you were even a gleam in uh, his scrotum. Let me oh tell you something. Gosh. Yeah, I walked into this building in 1980. Ah, wow. he's got six years on me. There you go. Um, we're and, old times. Uh, but you were, you were, weren't you spinning the oldies? Classic hits, 1260 WNDE. <laughs> were they calling it classic hits then? I thought, yeah, they I thought it they were calling hits. it oldies. No. Mm-hmm. Classic kids. I remember your program director. They weren't old enough yet to be old. <laughs> <laughs> no, they just happened like 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's an odd discussion we, we'll have on another place. Um, let's see now. Well, maybe we should have you spin some oldies today no, and show I, everybody no, that... No, uh, no, I'm not doing that. Now, were no. you walking over the post? No. How Did you... Uh, Every now and then, I forget how to do it. The only post I well, hit is the unfortunately, intro. Unfortunately, we have someone who didn't live through that era in the no, newsroom. She was five it's years ju- old. It's Jess Hooker who we're going to show. Show, uh, Jess, we're going to demonstrate to you okay. the skill set mm-hmm. oh, that is God, possessed by done? the then young Chick McGee, who arrived here as Chuck, and then I, I renamed him. So uh, is that true? Oh. Yeah. That's absolutely true. <laughs> <laughs> so technically, I've technically you know, I've named two people in this room: there was Young no, Willie <laughs> and my son, there and was, Chick McGee. You know, you, you think he's at the peak of his powers now. Back then, uh, pretty much, if he gave you a name, it became your name. <laughs> Can I? Was it something like? Hey, how you doing? I'm Tom. You go, oh, good, Chuck. I'm very happy to be here. He goes, Chuck. Ooh, not gonna work. You huh? like Chick? Does that work? Was it that no, quick or? Honest to gosh. Uh, remember we had, uh, we knew Duke Tomato then. Right. And uh, you were talking uh, with <laughs> then, well, he's still around, but uh, he owned a comedy club in town called uh, Crackers or Downtown Comedy Connection or whatever right. it was. Chick. And his name was Chick Perrin. And you were saying, yeah, Chick, he's on the phone. And I'm out in the hallway petting Elvis, by the way. The dog. Remember it like it was yesterday. And uh, no, it wasn't the actual corpse <laughs> of the singer. It was Elvis Costello. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Trying to clarify. Why uh, do you sing like that? One of, my many, like one of my many golden retrievers. You knew Elvis. You sure are hit and miss. Yes, and you are. <laughs> anyway, he's saying, you know, Duke wants to uh, come down there with me later. Yeah, okay, Chick. All right, yeah. No, I'll bring Duke. And he hung up, and I go, God, you're so cool. You got friends named Chick and Duke. And he goes, well, Chuck's pretty close to Chick. Why don't or Chick's pretty close to Why don't you start calling you Chick? Boom. And that was it. Well, I'm the glad he didn't go with Chook. The rest of <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> the internet lost its mind over the weekend. A soccer player with a unique name scored four goals, and uh, people took his name and ran with it. 
He's a Dutch professional footballer, soccer player, who plays as a forward for some name of a team in Holland I can't pronounce. He was born in North Holland. His name, Jiz Hornkamp. Oh, how do you, how do you okay. spell his first name? J I W Z. The whole. The whole enchilada, <laughs> Wilbur. <laughs> At 52 minutes, he scored a goal, made it 3-1. At 55 minutes, he scored a goal, made it 3-2. At 78 minutes, he scored, made it 4-3. At when was 80, his first goal? 52 minutes. Oh. Sounds, sounds a little premature to me. 52 minutes? 50. Really? <laughs> what are you, uh, the Paxel still? And at 86 minutes, uh, Jizz Horncamp scored a goal to tie it up at 4-4. Now... Uh, Jizz Horncamp. That is a name. Yeah, oh. that sounds like a fake name from a like Porky's Four. You're right. Yeah, Horncamp sounds like where they Horn have to send a senator after he gets in trouble. <laughs> uh, get him to Horncamp. Get him out of here. Yeah. Horn, Horncamp alone. You don't even need the Jizz. Uh, here are a couple of. Uh, <laughs> that's that's what Ellen said. <laughs> you don't even. <laughs> here are a couple of uh, uh, well, notable. I don't, think, I don't think she's that notable that. tweets. Uh, ESPN uh, the they tweeted this: uh, "No clean sheets when Jizz gets going." <laughs> Whoa! Uh, let's Subtle. see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Ian Black tweeted: "Finally!" Exclamation point. Jizz. Um, <laughs> I love Michael Ian Black. Any comedians say anything? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have to uh, take a. Your um, daughter comes home from college and says, "Dad, this is my boyfriend, Jizz." <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Let's see, I should probably point out who's who here. Uh, Ace Cosby is our engineer. Hello, friend. It's nice uh, sticks the band uh, cap you have on. Uh, Ace Cosby, a veteran of uh, many a concert. Uh, the band Kiss alone, you've seen how many concerts? Around 300. Around 300. That's, uh, That's a lot. It's like a job, isn't it? it? Sure is. How many times have you suffered through, st I mean, seen uh, sticks? <laughs> <laughs> many, many. Oh, they're great. Are you kidding me? They're terrific live. Nope. We have... Uh, be more serious. <laughs> <laughs> the Bizarro. I... I go ahead. <laughs> Babe, I'm leaving. They're not going to call I'm now. <laughs> Believe me, they'll call. They don't call Josh, uh, Josh is... Uh, because Josh. I got currently, currently I occupying the IHateStevenSinger.com yeah. sidekick chair as that interim, interim sidekick. <laughs> I will not leave quietly. You know, you know, I heard that. You did that very well. I heard it implied from over here. <laughs> the word interim. Christy Lee thing. is back. Hi. From her mystery vacation. That's mm. Did the seed take? take? a couple of days off. Oh, and we'll people. find <laughs> out. Was it a dreamboat or a dive? Oh, Did you get your feet scraped? Uh, yeah. Christy Lee is in the Navy Federal Credit Union newsroom. Pat Goddard, I can see him through the glass with his new cap. His um, looks like it's kind of a Jamaican thing. And yeah. I think Willie pointed it out. Um, does that come with a hacky sack? <laughs> The woman goes, since Pat is a charity, is this tax deductible? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Renee's funny. Renee's funny. Hey. 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 Yes. Don't well, let that one get away. Welcome back to the show. This is Tom speaking. And uh, let's see, we're, we were going to check in with the sporting but scene. first. Yeah. 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 Oh, <laughs> ladies and letters. gentlemen. Brian has uh, shared a dream or nightmare that he had. Oh, no. Oh, okay. It says, last night, I dreamt that Willie G. Hey. Was hooking up with Christy Lee. Oh my! Oh my God! God. And Tom, What's... did you hear the two different? Oh my God, Chris! <laughs> oh my God, and Willie! Oh my God! <laughs> Tom walked in to narrate oh. the interlude oh. and give <laughs> Willie some pointers. Oh. Brian what... says he woke up laughing <laughs> and tried to explain the dream to his wife. Who? Okay. Everybody just play it cool. <laughs> Everybody just. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Whoa. Well, that was a short period of time when I wasn't around. Is that what happened? It were... was a very, very odd dream. Uh, Pat, uh, odd you're, dream. Pat, you're waving your hands uh, frantically. Um, you know a lot about you know a lot about the song. We were talking about the song Louie Louie. Seriously, honest to God, Pat did not move a muscle. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Nor does he have right any now. idea where you're going. <laughs> um, as a matter of fact, uh, I'm guessing he wasn't even listening. <laughs> I was reading my letter. I, I like to. Explain it to fellows. Ace, do you want to tell them how radio works? <laughs> yes, See, we're on TV. There's, too. there's, a, there's a, we are on TV. I was explaining to you how TV works. Well, I think the way Mr. Roske is operating the camera, that no one could see Pat not 
waving his hands. <laughs> I'd like to teach you about honesty. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, you know, liar. We're good ever, without the lies. All right, everybody, everybody take two. <laughs> Welcome back to Bob and Tom's show. Look at Pat. <laughs> okay, so anyway, you're obsessed with Louie Louie this morning. It's something that happened, uh, what, oh. 50 years ago? 50? Oh, more than that. You're, uh, yeah, no, 64. I'm talking about the controversy. The controversy of the thought it was dirty. Yeah, Louie Louie yada, remains yada. what would now be termed, I think, a garage band classic. Whatever. Probably the garage band top 10. Don't say whatever. Had a resurgence when Animal House came out? No, it's a, it's a, it's a great song. It's it's it's, it's uh, the, some of the best things about rock and roll, kind of sloppy. Yeah, it's great. Uh, Raw. It is what it is. And yeah, could be filthy, you don't know. Yeah, yeah, and then if you've ever heard like the Sandpipers version of that's so awful. Louie, Louie. Oh, makes you want to <laughs> vomit. Oh, yeah, there's a... I've not heard that. Yeah, now, but, now, Pat, I, uh, you and I had been chatting about this, mm -hmm. and... I thought I saw you frantically waving. I should point out in my defense, I really can't see through the glass over there. Okay. That's the reflection. Stop. You were, yeah, you were out that line. Stop. <laughs> now he's lying. <laughs> now he's lying. More lies. More lies. More lies. More lies. <laughs> You're what? nothing but a liar. You guys, we've, we've had this discussion before. The man lacks integrity. <laughs> now say it with me. He lacks Instead integrity. Of, <laughs> here, here's what he does. Instead of not saying, saying uh, I don't want to do that. Yeah. Go, yeah, my lawyer, my attorney. <laughs> My, yeah, yeah, my right. doctor, uh -huh. my, whatever. He just lies as easily as he breathes. I got one. True. You know this? I wanted, I've been doing some exercising. I want to go for a walk. Sure. I live behind a golf course, but there's right. a fence. And right. I, yeah. I can't access the golf course. So I go, man, if I could figure out a way to access the golf course, I would love to just go for walks on there. Mm -hmm. And he goes, oh, maybe. And I go, maybe I'd get in trouble, though, if someone saw me. He goes, <laughs> Just say you're looking for your dog. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, oh, but I don't have a dog. Well, he goes, he goes, he goes, say you're looking for your neighbor's dog. You're just helping, and that's why you're not running fast. Because you're just trying to help look for the dog. It's, it's, a, great, it's, it's a great idea. What do you right mean? away. Not a oh, lie. Oh, it's not a lie. It's a great idea. Do you ever? <laughs> My favorite thing to do is to let Tom get away with his lies. <laughs> like when he goes, uh, you know, I renamed Lake Buena Vista. <laughs> Fact. That's really, that's Josh, really cool. Oh, good for you. And I leave. Josh, one day I should call him. I should call him one day and be like, hey, I uh, I did the lie on the golf course. I did the golf course lie about the dog, and now I need to find a dog. Can you run Dunder? He would he would grab the car. Oh, yeah, he would he'd be absolutely. So excited. Support. And you know what? He'd, he'd tell the people he's around, more lies. I've got a thing, an emergency. And uh, my life is a, a, just a. Oh, these are all lies. Crazy. Oh. Let me just ask you this. Is your name Tom? <laughs> Actually, liar. not. It's a, it's not Tom. Uh. <laughs> Wait a minute, I heard the phone ring. Oh, yeah. oh did I? Oh, my God, you're right. Hello, Bob and Tom Show. Well, this is Dick Hitswater sitting in for Joaquin Taco. And this oh. is a special pre-Super Bowl edition of some other news. He must be on Univision with Joaquin Taco. There you go. There you go. Hey, here are a few Dick Hitswater Super Bowl predictions and fun facts. Oh, oh God. Coming soon in Tampa. Sunday, that's when it'll be. Twenty-two thousand fans will be. Twenty-two. Funny how Sunday looks like soon. Sometimes when you're drinking. Uh huh. Twenty-two thousand fans will be attending the game, which is exactly the same number of jackasses predicting the score on the CBS pregame show. <laughs> it's a crowded show, you see. A lot of a lot of talking heads. This will be the first time in Super Bowl history that the host city has no need to import hookers. Local talent should be able to handle the rush. Yeah. Now, local pimps report that the Tampa hookers will have their hands full that weekend and probably an orifice or two. Oh but they should be able to accommodate the smaller crowd. <laughs> Concession stands at the game will be offering a special COVID dog for this year's game. Now, the COVID dog is just like a regular regular Coney dog, only mm -hmm. the concession worker sneezes on it before handing it to you. Wow. These, these are fun facts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all of that. Fun. Fun facts. Fun. Fun. 
Shockingly, Pepsi and Coke will not have commercials running during the Super Bowl for the first time in years. Meanwhile, for the 35th consecutive year, Fresca and Mr. Pibb will be paying a kid 10 bucks an hour to put coupons on car windshields in the parking lot. <laughs> not as popular, you see. More, <laughs> more predictions for this year's Super Bowl. Musical artist The Weeknd is performing as halftime entertainment. Now, The Weeknd has millions of fans, and when I say Weeknd fans, I mean fans of Saturdays and Sundays. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Because who the hell knows who The Weeknd is, and why can't anyone in the music business spell anymore? Oh, hey, Weeknd, buy a vowel. Hey, old man. <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. During the Super Bowl broadcast, commentator uh, Tony Romo will go off script and predict not just the next play of the game, but also predict the 10-day forecast for Tampa and the future of the global economy over the next decade. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, hey, and don't forget to do a shot every time Tony Romo says, oh, no, Jim. <laughs> You know how he says it. Well, this is... <laughs> it's been fun facts. Sitting in for Joaquin Taco, and this has been a special pre-Super Bowl edition of Some Other News. Bye-bye, kids. Bye, Dick. Yeah. Okay. Joaquin what if they get the, uh, Taco. What if they get the death-sensing dog instead of the COVID <laughs> dog, and he just hangs out by Tom Brady? See, because he's so old. And, uh, <laughs> dear idiots. Oh, hi. This must hi, be for you. us. Been listening to you morons since the mid-90s. <laughs> I worked for a major U.S. airline uh, in Texas for three years with the primary contact for our relationship with Malaysian Airlines. Every call, email, meeting with any of those fine leaders at the company, all I could think of was the way Bob and Chick would say, Malaysia. 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 <laughs> Even when I arrived through customs and the officer said, welcome to Malaysia, I tried. <laughs> with all my might, not to say Malaysia. Malaysia. Knowing if I did, I'd be brutally sodomized Midnight Express style, which of course... <laughs> did you pre-read the, pre -pre this would, thing? Would, which of course would make Tom happy. Boy, he has been listening. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, we started the list, didn't we? Shattered, of course. Shadoobie. Yeah. Uh, fish. Fish. Uh, These are things that we always, do over and over and over again. Said over and over. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm start, I've started doing the, we're on your side. When we're, I'm watching TV, a commercial oh, comes oh, yeah. on, I'll do, do that. <laughs> yeah. Do that. It's ruining my sense of humor. I'm taking it into public, you guys. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever watched a movie and you thought, oh, boy, I, man, Tom's really going to hate this. I mean, it's, it seeps into your brain mm -hmm. instead of this just being a job. Mm -hmm. It becomes <laughs> your... Your life. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, everybody? Yes. Pen, pen, yeah. paper. I Green Bay it. Packers it. general it. manager Brian G U T E. How do you spell that? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> K U N G U T E K U N S T. Oh, okay. You got me. I tried to say it three times on the update. I would go with a app. long U. Kunst. Brian Guten Kunst. <laughs> I'd you say, know what I do? I'd, say it's all I'd call him Mr. G. <laughs> Mr. G. I'd say Gutta Kunst. Oh. You're gonna go gutta, on gutta one and ooh on the other. Yeah, gutta that seems to be. I a... can go on both. <laughs> Gu gutta gutta Kunst. Remember, there was there was the lawyer, the famous lawyer who, um, gutta. William, uh, you know who I'm talking about, yes, recently I featured in the, what was the movie, the, the Chicago Eight. Gutta Kunstler. But yes, and he was he was if you read about it him, is Kunstler, it is, right? and he yeah. was he was adamant that you pronounced it that way. He got a big right. kick out of it. Apparently, right. Big kick out. Of yes, it. yes, and possibly the worst comb over ever. The really long hair with the bushy side, just the Neil huge sideburns. sideburns, and the massive comb over. That fooled me. I know that. Uh, Coach Matt Lafleur, which means la flower. Say they. They expect. <laughs> the Packers say they expect Aaron Rodgers to remain their team's starting quarterback in 2021 and beyond. Rodgers had said after the Packers lost to Tampa Bay at Lambeau in the NFC Championship game that, quote, there's a lot of guys' futures that are uncertain. Has anybody ever called Lambeau Mr. Rodgers' neighborhood? To be, uh, you know, clever and I'm cute? sure there's been some signs That's pretty good. That yeah. would say that. I don't get that it. You, didn't, you don't care for it? No, I don't get it. Aaron Rodgers is their quarterback, Mr. Rodgers' oh. neighborhood. <laughs> Oof. Puts uh. on the cardigan and then puts on his little shoes. Wait, no, no, let's hear your father's Josh, critique on that. Josh, <laughs> I thought it was Josh, fun, Josh. Josh, I thought that was relevant, and, yeah. and, and I'm sure there was a sign. There has been a sign there that says that. You would think so, wouldn't you? Absolutely. Yeah, because you really want to. 
tie in a, the great gentle soul of Mr. Rogers with one of the hottest, fiercest quarterbacks in the NFL. You've been sucking off Aaron Rodgers all week. Yeah, whatever that's we talk a, about, that's he's Aaron a cool Rogers, guy in the back I've of a pickup had, truck. See? I've had it with you, Aaron Rodgers and Big Dairy. I've had it with you, <laughs> the two. The two. Aaron, yes. would, the Aaron You're would be in the Super. Fan. He'd be in the Super Bowl if a couple guys in his team could catch the ball right in their arms. <laughs> I, I can't argue with you here. And I could have caught two of those passes with my bad arm. And uh, oh, to prove, I would uh, love to watch oh, a defensive oh back. Just... He's over there begging to smell Danica's breath. <laughs> no, I no. can't make a joke of <laughs> No, no, no. No, 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 no. You're Mr. Rogers. When Huge. He expand her, on it. Uh, when he told her to hit the brick, suck a mug, that's when I started liking Aaron. Hey, um, uh, because uh, everything I say, I, uh, people, I can't take criticism. I'm going to give you the scores in the hockey league and the NBA today because Josh was mean to me yesterday. Well, thanks, dummy. <laughs> oh, thanks, Did you put them online somewhere? <laughs> NBA Lakers win last night. Houston, Milwaukee, Chicago, Cleveland, Sacramento, Memphis, Phoenix, all aboard. All, all cities. All win. <laughs> what was that first thing yeah. that won? Uh, Lakers. No, second. Uh, Houston. 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 Oh, quick on the draw over there. Huh? Well, I was actually, I was right in front of head boy, to see if oh I could find something interesting to do. He can dish it out, but he can't take it. <laughs> You're the one that made us do sports. We were talking about our firehouse dreams. Oh, man. Okay, well, could we... Uh, All cities. Uh, <laughs> last night, a woman got kicked out of the Hawks-Lakers game for getting into a heated verbal confrontation with LeBron while sitting courtside. Referees stopped the game. LeBron was heckled by a female spectator in Atlanta. Oh, After the what's game, wrong with people? The woman took to Instagram and claimed she got kicked out for telling LeBron, I'm going to F you up. After Ooh. LeBron apparently cursed Classy. out her husband. LeBron. No, looked, the, the basketball players are in the wrong here. No, they're not. These people, if no, that's why you sit courtside. Yeah. So that the players so can, can hear you. So you can curse at the players? That's exactly you know right. I no. love the fact that Jess has been here, not very, here very often, but she's been here long enough when Josh is making... A good point, and you disagree. Jess just goes, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be upset if she ruins this for all of us. I want to sit courtside at an NBA game. Yeah, I want to. I want to wear the big black boots. Yeah, and I'll have tell the you outfit what. I don't blame thing. people for running at first players running into the stands and punching a holes in the face. No, if you yell, if you yell at a player, they should be allowed to hit you as hard as they want. I Not think so. At all. Yes. It, I, I'm sorry. How much is LeBron worth? He oh, can't. No. He can't oh. shake this. Oh, lady's... I'm sorry, Mister One Percenter. So yeah. Okay. It's, <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's not get into that conversation. I, I don't think there's any reason to talk about uh, everybody the, play it cool. Uh, okay. earnings, uh, I, or, uh, while in line at the pay for the vaccine uh, place, uh, I. Uh, <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. If I made what LeBron made, people could shoot me with arrows, and I wouldn't. Care. No, it's wrong. Um, well, what if someone came oh, in here? Wait a <laughs> Man, I oh, just wow. Josh. I hope well, that, that makes the TV that's show. That's good <laughs> timing. I don't care. <laughs> does, does that mean, oh. this is whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's, oh, that's my favorite line in that movie. Well, it's Groundhog Day again. <laughs> it's <a> classic. <laughs> here we are. They get that rat out of the hole. <laughs> <laughs> a weird Groundhog Day today, though. How so? I'll Please tell you in a continue. second. All right. Uh, now, if he sees his shadow, that's we, got, six we, more, we have the whole explanation coming. Six out. more weeks winter, no shadow, and he. That's early. Hey, Patrick, how you doing, buddy? Hey, Chick. Hey, Josh. Hey, Chick. Hey, Jess. Hi. In for Christy. Hello, Ace. Chick. Willie. Chick. How's it going, hey. Dan? Back to Tom. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us here on the 2nd of February, 2021. Go, baby, go. The madness continues. But this is our uh, first um, Groundhog Day, technically, under the uh, quarantine regulations. So uh, I think one can expect the Groundhog to be wearing a face mask. Oh. But, uh, yeah, they're, having, they're doing it uh, without the crowd. Oh, at, at least, I mean, I know there are multiple Groundhogs, but let's face it. There's, Puxatoni there's, 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 Yeah, that's yeah. the Puxa, uh, the the... the the faux Puxatoni fills. Or... There's Buckeye Chuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Does everyone have to be the same? It's like the NFL. Once one has one kind of mascot, then every, they all have to well, have the same one. They can't well, have any specificity. It and... really is uh, common sense. Everyone has a chamber of commerce. Everyone sees what everyone else does. Yeah, but everyone your, has a cherry but Do festival. your own thing, and okay? It's impossible. 
There's only six. There are only six original festivals in the United States, <laughs> as I understand. The town I grew up in uh, tried something different on Groundhog Day. <laughs> they, uh, we had a big Groundhog Fry, and it, um, <laughs> that'd it be was, fine uh, with me. It was met that, with that would uh, be different. Well, it did. It was. Oh, they or are they? I assume they're probably not very tasty. I know they taste real good. It's just really, they're, they're not they're, gamey. They're too tough. Gamey and stringy. I real think. stringy. Yeah. yeah. Pucks yeah. fillet. Is that what you had? That's well, exactly yeah. right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I assume that there was a there was a groundhog hunt of some sort. Uh, yes. Yeah. To, you, to acquire well, the groundhog. Right. Of course. Be, uh, you had uh, like a very th where you'd send. That's January twenty fifth. Men and women out with with rifles. Right. Because that's that's the fun thing. Yeah. Who well, wouldn't want beat, to pick off a groundhog? The citizens beat sticks together and they drive the groundhogs. Right. And there are no hole. guns involved. You have to snap their necks. Oh yeah. really? Yeah, oh, that's right. very manly. I would yeah. prefer a rifle right. personally, but well, uh, hey, whatever you're into. Take the sporting out of it. Uh, I, I think it's very sporting. <laughs> of course. Uh, <laughs> now, no, 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 no. You insist on doing it with your hands. Uh, and by the way, primitive groundhog hand to hand combat. That thing fights back. People don't know that. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. mean right hook. Oh, yeah. I'm talking, not careful. Willie and I figured out earlier that we need to be firefighters. Not to really save lives or risk ours, but... <laughs> well, I'm in it for the hang. hang. Yeah. yeah. I'm in it for the hang. But I think I would be a big, like, locker room guy in a firehouse. It'd be like a week-long Super Bowl party. Yeah, you like yeah. playing horse? It's so fun. You yeah. play horse. You It's the cooking scene in Goodfellas and for a whole like, week. Hey, hey, Josh, tell them about the time you threw the dog out the window. Come on, oh, tell One time I threw this dog out a window, oh, and I thought that the uh, trampoline was down there. Oh. Nope, just the VW. <laughs> now, uh, we did our show. We did, yeah, we we did our show from the, a firehouse. and yeah, uh, Yes, we did. Apparently, they are eliminating the pole. Yeah. It's Which gone. is it, it? Are we finally to levitation? Is that what's happening? <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Just <laughs> jumping through that hole in the ceiling now. Uh, hey, Johnson, you've achieved enlightenment. Go. <laughs> <laughs> right. Just walking down the stairs. <laughs> because uh, let's face it, that's the fun thing. You don't even see it in movies anymore. Not it's really. funny because I had to go, you know, back when the world was was young. Did you go down the pole? Yeah. Okay, I went down the pole too. I think you made me go first, of course. But uh, it's way out in the middle of this hole. I mean, there's... You have to reach out. There's plenty of room for you to fall between the pole <laughs> yeah. and the hole. Well, that's because... How see, many times have you fallen between the pole and the hole? <laughs> oh, <laughs> if I was a fireman hang guy, it happened all the time. They go, you see Griswold? He fell in the pole yeah, hole again. He <laughs> broke his leg. You. I'm really good for morale. I wouldn't save anybody, but I would make the people in the firehouse yes, very happy. Yes. Now, what are you thankful for that hole with the, all the equipment yeah <laughs> is there a reason that they eliminated it is, I, there is, 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 there, is there a reason back in the day they had it was it just a matter of space or they, they couldn't get a yeah, it's gotta be yeah, yeah. It was yeah. but i mean they couldn't have a ranch house kind of and be on the same floor <laughs> <laughs> i'm just only, wondering you know, like, only tom would look yeah. at something like a fireman's pole and go that can be better <laughs> now let, no, i'm asking in I, new I, york city a ranch yeah. it's like How you never even saw ghostbusters i mean show some respect oh These that's are, true that's the great thing about ghostbusters a, a sprawling they, ranch firehouse that would solve all, everybody's problems <laughs> true. It's, everyone's <laughs> in the same everyone's on the same floor uh, uh, well I'm, I'm not sure in any event a super uh, ranch uh, well all uh, due respect to the great men and women who are indeed firefighters who do it more for the less for the hang and more for the great work well, that they do no well that's why they're heroes and i'm an <laughs> Idiot. There's got to be some firefighters that do it for the heroic and the hang. And I the hang, you think? think? Yeah. Sure. Is. I'm hang 100%. I can never do the hero stuff. Are you stuff. ever at the grocery store and you pull in, you see the fire truck parked out there? Fleischer parking, by the way. They and uh, Which they have God. every right to do, by the way. That's true. And they're in there buying groceries. They got their fire suits on. They're under... Pasta. Helmet. Peanut butter. Yep. Mm -hmm. oh, and yeah. radios in case something happens. That sure. They're, they're, they're there on time. Ready to save lives. I sure. want to get back home and watch Netflix. Sure, but... So what you want to be is all you want is the downtime yes. as a fireman. Yes, yes. Hanging at the place, cooking. Sleeping, farting. <laughs> Snoring. What? Just goofing with the Laughing. House. Yeah. So the I would marry the a fireman. Lives and <laughs> would, you, would you think a fireman's hot? I, I think, yes, I think firemen are hot. Oh, don't they I, all have the calendars? Yeah, I would marry a fireman because they're gone for like three days at a time. You get a, you get a giant break from them and yeah. then they come back and then you love each other again. It would be wonderful. Exactly. <laughs> I'll check in. I've got, a, I've got a friend who is a fireman. I'll have to check in with him on that. I can see him getting ready for the Ace Cosby joke of the day. It, maybe we should do two today. Yeah, that's in the tradition of the two Why for stop Tuesday. Two, it's Groundhog's Day. Let's do a triple play. Uh, Every.
Jerry break. Yes. Well uh, for Tuesday. Yay. All right. Uh, let's see. Where were we? There's Chick. Uh, Josh is over there in the I Hate Steven Singer dot com sidekick chair. Hi. Reminding you that Valentine's Day is just around the corner. You might want to get that uh, box checked. Right. Get it done. Uh, Jess Hooker is sitting in for Christy Lee today. Um, we have um, uh, Jess, of course, in the Navy Federal Credit Union newsroom, and she is about to uh, take a little break and uh, prepare some uh, grilled cheese sandwiches. We've been discussing variations on grilled cheese for quite some time. Pat Godwin is over there. Willie G is over there. Now, I thought we'd get to the to a little bit of food real quick before we get to your favorite uh, oh my God. minor league baseball team. <laughs> All right. This is killing me. Um, what, Jess, I, I know that you are a, an excellent cook. Yes. Um, yes. Oh, yes. And, uh, <laughs> No. I, I am. I'm she really very is good. good. Yeah. No, yeah. She, she, re she is very good. And um, there was a thing released last week, and I got this from um, Ad Week magazine. Okay. okay. Uh, are you familiar with Barilla Pasta? I am. Yeah, you gave me the story. Yeah. Oh, you got it? Okay, good. Yeah. Well, you give it, just give it a quick read, and we'll tell you yeah. what's going on. The here. pasta company Barilla has created a playlist that is designed to help you cook your pasta for just the right amount of time. Hmm. Barilla has collaborated with Spotify to create a series of eight playlists timed to correspond with the perfect cooking time for shapes including spaghetti, linguine, fusilli, and penne. So this, you, you get the picture. It's pretty simple. Yeah, you bring. They've all got to. You don't because when you're cooking pasta, you forget. Yeah, you don't pay attention. You yeah, kinda, yeah. And then you got to throw it like against the wall. Have you guys done that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah and there's. A, I tried to look that up, and I couldn't <laughs> find anything under 90 pages explaining why it didn't work. Uh. But this music thing is pretty cool because they use popular artists, and they also have some parody ones. There's actually a few songs by Weird Al Dente on there, oh. and they're great. Oh, how about him? Yeah. He's, uh, how about Weird Al Dente? Lesser known parodist, but uh, <laughs> still very strong. It's very <laughs> niche parody. He's, he's a little raw. <laughs> <laughs> and you can use this for other things. You can do a whole ham. Uh, you can cook a ham. And you have to... You have got a DeVita. Uh, yeah. You, 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 or just we'll go watch The Irishman. And it should be... So uh, I thought, now, Pat, um, we, you have a friend with you in, in the uh, in, in the room back there. Who is that? I can't see. It's dark in there. Uh, come on, Infecto. They're calling for Oh, it's Infecto oh, Quarantini. Hey, hello, everybody. Hey. Infecto Quarantino. How you doing? The last man of ethnic heritage we can identify by name. <laughs> You're going to need a popular song uh, for the pasta. You need to know uh, my mom, a song. That's all you need to know to make the perfect pasta. Okay. Oh, God. and God rest her soul. All right, I bring out my squeeze box, and here we, here we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, linguine fettuccine, 11 minutes to 13. Spaghetti vermicelli, 8 to 10, it's in your belly. Penny or rigatoni, 7 to 9, leave it alone. Anything over 15, your mama started bitching. She say, Fungala, you ruined the pasta. Stay out of my kitchen. That's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. Okay. What a song. Yes. Prego, prego, ragu. Yeah, thank you, Infecto. That is such a Arrivedi. great idea. That would work for so many different products. They, yeah. could, they, they should start lining up with specific songs. I bet you could look harder and find some stuff like Somebody's that. probably got a turkey playlist for Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. Uh, nice nice well, songs. Sure. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. The uh, uh, show has gotten significantly better looking. I'm here every day. Thank you, Ace. Uh, very handsome man, of course. He's a bad man. Um, I was referring to the presence of comedian Ali Breen joining us from Hi, Parts guys. Unknown. We're trying to debate where you are today. Is that New York City behind you? That's New York City. Okay. Yay. Yeah. She stayed yeah. put. <laughs> I did. We have like two feet of snow. I can't go anywhere. Oh, that's right. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, well, there's Allie in New York. There's a Chick McGee right here along with uh, Josh and Christy and Patty G. This is Tom. That's uh, Willie over there. Did I mention Ace over there? I think I think I covered everything. Um, Allie, uh, two feet of snow, huh? Wow. Two feet of snow. Yeah. Huh. They promised two feet. We got it. Uh, are you? So you're not going to go anywhere? Go skiing? No, I She's mean, everything in is New literally... York City. How could she go skiing? <laughs> I don't know if the last time you've been to the city. I've been to the city. I used to live not there. A lot we of do hills. not have mountains. Not a lot of mountains. <laughs> they put up a ski lift on the Upper East Side. You haven't seen <laughs> I that? I missed you can that. Hop, you can hop Central in a Park. car and... Uh... There's two feet of snow on the ground. <laughs> Nothing better than skiing down, getting a dollar slice. <laughs> yeah. If you're Tom's friend, be comfortable in the knowledge that whatever you're doing is wrong. Okay? That's right. You could and be skiing he, right now. And he wouldn't be doing what you're doing because you're doing it wrong. Yeah. I, I can remember being in one of those New York snowstorms and 
getting some cross country skis and <laughs> zipping down Broadway. Nothing, oh. nothing cooler. No, mm -hmm. cross country skiing is not skiing. <laughs> that you could do. That's yeah. okay. agreed. Okay, but hop in a car, drive up to well, Vermont, live a little. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> hey, risk, risk your life. Yeah. Yeah. But How much money do you think we have? Risk your life and danger others. Go ahead. Let's <laughs> slide all the way up. He's the menace life. who goes out in snowstorms and bag. drives around. You know that. Okay, well. Uh, Allie, what's going on? Do you have any letters good. for us? You're not really good at small talk, are you? I think that's the problem, possibly. <laughs> I like your outfit today, Allie. A nice slinky Thank red, you. slinky red dress. Slinky. <laughs> <laughs> hoping to, it's hoping to, party. hoping to meet that handsome it's neighbor. It's just a sweater, but I'll go with slinky red dress. Let's, let's say, let's say you see Allie at the bar and you want to go over and start a conversation with her. Tom, what are you going to say? Hey, I like that slinky sweater. Mm -hmm. What's your name? Uh, what would that, what would that be like? I don't know. I would, I, <laughs> I'd say hi. I haven't worn a sweater in 40 years. That's I, not about you. It's about her. It's a great opening. Got to make that's it about me. That's a great opening line. <laughs> that's interesting. That's interesting. Hey, hi. How wow. are you? You know what? Got to make it about hi. me. Did yeah, you? let's talk about me. You got her hooked. Yeah. God. I would say something like you certainly have nice teeth. Oh, they match your earrings. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a psychopath. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> I, don't I, I, love like your, I love your teeth. I love your teeth. Did those did those did those come out of a jar? Something oh. like that. Can I make an ashtray uh. out of your teeth? <laughs> 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 no, I would. No wonder you have children. Uh, okay, I'm sorry, Ali. So let's uh, get right to it. You're a, a single, single you. gal on the make in the city. Yeah, mm -hmm. wearing a slinky red dress at home in my apartment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Dear Ali, okay. I'm dating a married man who has no intention of leaving his family. We both <laughs> don't want anything serious, so it's a great side thing for both of us. He says I'm actually helping make his marriage tolerable. So if his wife doesn't want to have sex with anymore, shouldn't I be able to do so without feeling guilty? Mm. Well, it sounds like you're feeling a little guilty. Yeah. Uh, um, it's going to be inevitable, I Is would this think. a question or to, are yeah, you bragging? Or just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you telling us, Lizzie? Like, I'm telling, telling everybody. everybody. I mean, if she said that neither of them really, it's enough for you, I don't, why is she feeling guilty now? All right. Um, I guess because the wife, you know, you have to feel guilty that the wife doesn't know, I guess. But if you sure. or of the other parties are feeling bad about it. Because usually when know, we have letters like this, a, a, somebody's gone through somebody's computer. or yeah, right. found out yeah, about is, it. This one's actually fairly yeah. simple. Um, yeah, she kind of wrote in, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm seeing a married man and... Yeah, things are pretty good. Yeah. That's exactly what yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, be, do you? I guess. Yeah, maybe. Maybe next week we'll get the letter I wrote you last week, and, <laughs> yeah. and she found out. I've, no, I've, yeah, or I've been plotting the murder of. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's the problem because it starts out with neither one of them wanting more, and then all of a sudden someone's going to boil someone's rabbit. Yeah. Every time someone's going to want more. Boiling the rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> Great yep. reference. Yeah. <laughs> that's a movie. That's a movie that's that needs happens. to be remade and contemporized with digital yeah. technology. Ah, I, I, I prefer. You it want that in HD? Before, I prefer it pre-cell phone. Yeah, I disagree. Yeah. What are you guys talking about? Fatal Attraction. Fatal Attraction. No, nope. great movie. You should see it, Willie. Yeah. You'd like it. Yeah, I'll check it out. Movie. Okay, good very enough. good. Okay, I'm sorry, Allie. Back to you. Got another letter. Dear Allie, I've been dating a guy for over a year who lives about six hours away. We see each other whenever we can but I've never met anyone from his life. No friends, no family, et cetera. When I bring oh. it up, he says he doesn't want to share me with anyone since we only have a limited amount of time together each uh, week. Should I, believe I press it. the issue? Mm. I, totally be I, I totally buy that. You do? Yes. I, he doesn't want uh, to take you out because his, his, his wife <laughs> yes. you having a nice exactly. quiet dinner. Women always he's married or something is going on. He's a murderer, so he's hiding something. Why wouldn't he want to share her with his family? Why are women always concerned about that? Yes. I want to meet your friends. I want to meet your family. What? <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> Believe me. It's a, They're my friends. I don't want to hang out with them. Yeah. Okay? Josh, have you ever got the I want you to want to hang out with my friends? That oh, of course. That's tricky. that's my that's what I yeah. do. She goes, I want to meet your friends. I want to meet your family. I go, okay, so long as I never have to meet yours, <laughs> I will let you meet my friends and family. Huh. Wow. 
Okay. Right. It is. It's a vetting process. You need to know yeah. someone from their life to make sure that they're okay. You know, when I someone, think she like, needs validation. You, no, it's not. It's yeah. Because yeah. you, you, you all go, he doesn't want to show me off. That's what it's about. She does. She wants validation. That no, no. I think the, the real story is that uh, this guy's hiding a lot. Yeah. No way. He wants. Yeah. He just wants to. He wants to have sex mm -hmm. and he wants to hang out and that's it. Yeah, he's got limited time. If you don't like it? Meet somebody else. Who no. Will, uh, no, he doesn't want anyone to know. Ah. Why? Why? Why is the guy always the yeah? Uh, the why jerk? is he always up? Yeah. To something? How about who knows? Because maybe this history. woman's really ugly. You know? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe she's right. embarrassingly yeah. ugly. Oh, jeez. <laughs> she's she's good in bed, but she's not maybe pretty. That's you know, really helpful. I was joking. If you guys maybe gave me a little bit of backup, maybe you got to lose a couple <laughs> seventy-five pounds. Uh, I agree. Yeah. If you lose them, you. dear with, pig face. <laughs> I'd introduce oh. you to my friends, but you all won't fit in the same room. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Tubby. Okay. Hit the bricks. I take you to my families, but I don't know if they grocery shop yesterday. Oh God. <laughs> right. And why are guys always the jerks? That's exactly. Well, I think, that I think is that, not true. I think that goes without saying. Now listen to this show. <laughs> now, if you want to participate in this and uh, get some fine advice, uh, you go to Allie Breen, A L L I B R E E N, on all social media platforms and uh, send us your uh, send us your problems. I think we should name these people. I like the way they used to do that in Dear Abby. You know, oh, yeah. Dear questioning yeah. in Quebec. Mm. That uh, kind <laughs> of thing. Tubby in Texas. I don't think she's tough. Could we? Well, we, we can name that <laughs> well, last letter. Dear, I am not an animal. I am not. Let's move on, see if we can help someone. <laughs> see if we can help. Dear Allie, I said I love you to my boyfriend the other day, and he said thank you. Oh. Oh. Do I now just pretend this didn't happen? Oh. Maybe the old Han Solo. Yikes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Leave you hanging. That's a pretty big matzo ball out there. Uh -huh. throw the first <laughs> love, I love you out. Yeah. Now, I mean, look, it's a response. Isn't there? We don't know anything else. It could have been their first date. Yes. <laughs> True. Yeah. yeah. I love you, and I love your teeth. Uh, uh, I don't like the <laughs> How come all the ashtrays in here are made out of human teeth? <laughs> <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> human now, we teeth. can't help this person. We don't know enough. So they're, yeah. So they're not yeah. talking about it? They're just pretending it didn't happen? I think that's the way to go, actually. What else can you do? If you bring it up, it's going to be really awkward. Then he's going to have to actually say... I don't love you. I, yeah, I disagree. I think she has every right to go, hey, what do you mean, thank you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you could be could be the worst response yeah. ever. And to thank you, and could yes. I have a towel? Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Valentine's Day. Ooh. Valentine's Day is just around the corner. There's going to be a lot of pressure here. Now, oh, yeah. Let's just get right to that, Allie. Now, you've been Wait. seeing, what's this guy's name? Roger, Steve, Ted? What is <laughs> it? It's Roger, Mike. Steve, Ted. Yeah, that's okay, guy. that guy. Um, <laughs> uh, your, your, actor, your actor off and on boyfriend. Yes. Um, are you guys going to get hooked up for Valentine's Day? Are you going to be in the same place? We are, but we're actually going to go meet my family in Florida, so it is not going to be very romantic. Oh, he's has he ever met them? Oh my goodness! Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's met them a couple times. Do okay. they know? Do they know about the? Um... They know about everything. Oh, they know everything. Oh, yeah. oh. Can I come to just wow. to watch? Fly on the wall. Or can you guys at least wow. stream it? That would be great. Yeah, get a Twitch. Oh, yeah. This this yeah, should be exactly. Fun. I will. It'll be. Uh, yeah, it should be. It's, so, uh, what's the status of your situation right now? You're together. Everything's they're cool. They're very much like well if. If you're happy, we're happy. Well, that's good. That's nice. Yeah, that is yeah. nice. Yeah, they're lying. The oh, worst they're supportive. <laughs> the worst responses to I love you. Are you ready? Yeah. Yep. Number yes. one. I used to love you. Oh. Ooh, that's brutal. Oof. Is that it? Is that it? That's a well, crazy response. <laughs> I yeah. love you. And you respond what with more? Sure. Oh. I love you. What do you what do you want me to say? <laughs> <laughs> I love you. You're a good friend. Oh. oh. There it is. Wait a minute. Ace, Ace has something. got something. Here we go. Back in my early dating days, a woman said I love you. And she looked at me. Aren't you going to say it back? And I said, "What am I? A mockingbird?" Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> sounds, like, uh, sounds like a joke of the day. Sounds like an ace yeah. joke of the day yeah. response. Ace, right. is, uh, does she Love. still talk to you? Yeah. Uh, you.
Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. And be sure to tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.